Rusty Rental Dingo Power here. Um, I'm going to do another teardown video of the TX1000 tandem pump. The last one I did um, kind of sucked. So i got a different camera location. I'm going to step through it and we will um, get it torn apart. So, All right, so you'll want to put it up on a pipe so you can easily access the um, easily access it alright pop off the end cap These pumps are really similar. Uh, the, if you look here, this um, front section does not have a gear pump in here. Um, the back section has a gear pump and this little keyway to run the gear pump. This uh, front section doesn't have that gear pump. Um, there is a snap ring down inside of here that is extremely difficult to get out I've actually taken a set of needle nose pliers and ground them down so I can get down inside of here and and um pop the snap ring off that was easier than normal so you get that off then you can separate the next segment of the, segment of the pump This is the piston plate, the piston group runs on the piston plate. You can see there's a little bit of wear on this. Um, the main thing you want to check is that your fingernail does not catch on the piston plate. Uh, this one's in pretty good shape. Um, we're just doing an inspection on this, like I said, because this is off of the machine that we're rehabbing. We want to make sure that the um, piston or that the pumps are in good shape. Um, if we're going to sell it, I don't want there to be any issues. Um, we've got dowel pins um, in this segment that index this uh, index this piece. Um, O-ring. There's a little O-ring here as well you don't want to forget now this um, this is the piston group and to get it out if you're doing an inspection you want to be careful to try and get the the um, pistons to come out with it sometimes they stick this time they came out complete if they this is if it pulls apart i don't know if you can see in there but there's three little pins that hold a ring up off of the um, top of the um, drum here and if you pull that apart if this pulls apart when you um, when you pull it uh, pull it out you need to make sure you don't lose those pins um, but um, looking for imperfections in this it looks pretty good no nothing that will catch a fingernail and then the third place I'm going to inspect is the swash plate this plate here um, these are your servo lines up top and so there's a piston in here that slides back and forth 
that changes the angle on this wash plate. And that's wash plate changing the angle is what changes the direction and the speed of your of your uh, machine. So once again, I'm looking down in here, checking that there's no grooves, no pits, nothing that catches a fingernail, which it doesn't. That one's pretty good. So um, we're just going to go back together with um, with this because everything looks good. Um, some of the areas of concern on this, other than other than the swash plate, if you've got one that has had significant damage to it, you want to look at your hard pieces like this here, this segment here, mm -hmm. and make sure that this dowel pin is in in good shape it's not bent I've seen them where they get bent or sheared off also you want to make sure that there's no grooves um, no grooves in between this slot and the end which this one's in good shape so um, no issues there my dowel pins are in good shape so I'm gonna just put this back together Um, and put this back together, which, which again, you want to be careful that, that your piston group doesn't fall apart. Sometimes you have to hold your mouth just right to to get them to slide in, like there. Oh, and I should tell you as well, if you have to replace this wash plate, it's not a large, uh, not a big deal. There is a snap ring here at the bottom. You pull this snap ring, you put a bolt in there, and then you can then you can slide that um, that cap out or use a puller to pull that cap out. Um, you want to make sure that your swash plate once again is pinned and indexed properly. I put a little bit of grease on there so it doesn't doesn't slide out. get it indexed correctly to the dial pins would help all right and if you note there's some spring in that and you've got this snap ring that needs to go that needs to go back into the uh, back onto the shaft so what you what I do is I Take two bolts put them in and that closes up that segment and makes it to where and you don't want to overspread this snap ring Barely get it on and started. set that snap ring
Mm. All right, so go ahead and put the the spline in. Make sure that your dowel pins are are indexed correctly. There's an arrow that goes down on this. Um, and you put her together. In other applications, not from Toro, but um, this pump is used in. The um, arrow may go up, but on this one it goes down. Got one more bolt. The once I find it, I will put it in. But that um, is the basics on the tandem pump, tear down and um, reassembly. Thank you.